So hello everyone. So welcome to happymath.com. So today, uh, so we will talk about the factorial and permutation and combination if time allowed to cover more. Okay, then look at this question here. Then how many ways can get the letter A, B, C, D, E, and F be arranged for a six letter circuit code? Okay, so which means we are mixed up and making a six digit circuit code. Then we can make maybe A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so just example here then. Um, A, B, C, D, E, or it can be also uh, C, B, uh, oh sorry, I forgot F. Uh, D, E, F, it can be also maybe C, D, B, E, F, and maybe B, B, C, F, E, okay, and so on basically. There are so many different cases that we can generate there, right? Okay, so I'm not going to list uh, everything because I know it will be a lot. Okay, so there, what we want to do, so like last time, we are using um, base, uh, fundamental counting principle and find the total number of cases here. Okay, then I'm going to make total six digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then make a border here so we can see better. Okay, then now the first digit, how many letters we have? So six uh, letters here, so six. Then next digit will be five because we choose one letter already. So like this case, because we choose A already, then other five letters can be uh, mixed up basically. And then now we com uh, we select two letter, then third letter become four, then fourth letter become three choices, and then two choices, and then one choice is like that. Okay, that there was all the combination, so we will multiply them each other. So this answer becomes so they equal two six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay, then there will be 720 cases here. Okay, so like this, uh, now we just uh, multiply from uh, total cases, the maximum cases to until 1, we just call factorial. So we can define n factorial, which means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n keep on going until 3 times, 2 times, 1 like that. So there we just call uh, factorial. So like this. So so it's given, uh, given categories are 6 different letters. So we just do 6 times, 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. So there will be, we can rewrite as a 6 factorial. Okay? So 6 factorial representing 6 times, 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. Okay? Then now, what if uh, this given number number of cases, categories are maybe more than 10 or 20, something like that. Then we keep writing maybe 10 times, 9 times, 8 times, 7 times, until 1, 20 or so, 20 times, 19 times. Then it will be really long. So, now we are using factorial feature on Excel instead. Okay, so follow me. So, on Excel, 6 factorial, we can rewrite it as a equal to FACT. Okay, so FACT, that's the factorial commander here. So, type that and then put 6. Okay, then that will be the answer. Okay? So, based on that, then look at our next question here then. Now, 8 people compete in a downhill ski race. Assuming that there, is, there are no ties, in how many different order can be skill finished? So then now you know that our total number of cases are 8. Then that we are arranging from the first place to the last place. So you will know that answer will be uh, 8 factorial. Then indicating 8 factorial in Excel, that equal to FACT. Then type 8. Enter, then there will be the answer basically. Make sense, right? Okay, so I hope it's easy so far. Okay, then look at 
uh, this question here. So 43 race car started the 2007 Daytona 500. How many ways can the car finish the first, second, and third? Okay. So this question is a little bit different compared to previous two questions because uh, previous two questions we arranged from the first place to the last place but this time we only cover first, second, and third only. Okay? So then this one based on that we can do 43 times, 42 times, 41 only. Okay? That's it basically. Okay, then how to indicate this case here? So that is the, we just call it permutation. So permutation means we carry the order, but we only find the cases uh, with a certain number of cases basically. So this time we are finding only three cases out of 43 character. Okay? So we can rewrite this uh, 43p3 basically. Okay? Then how to calculate that? So as a formula, NPR means N factorial over N minus I factorial. Okay? So, then now I'm going to move this, this a little bit right here. So, this means now we can make uh, FACT, okay, and 43, and close that, and divide by FACT, and then 43 minus 3, that's it. Then answer become 74,000. 46 different cases here. Okay? But now, so we always have to uh, divide in factorial of this number over factorial to the this number minus 3 all the time. Okay, you can do that, but we have we can use another Excel commander to find it, which is permutation. So you may type permute. So equal to P E R mu so do you see the permute so click that and then put so 43 and comma 3 here then it will give you the answer the same as basically okay so you can use this way but I really recommend you may using uh, permute and the 43 comma number of cases we want to find out then that will be our permutation uh, comment basically Okay. Okay, then let's continue one more example here. In 23 Asian game, there are 8 players advanced to 100 meter freestyle swimming. We assume all players are qualified to be the winner of the event. How many different ways to determine the gold, silver, and the bronze medalist? Okay. So now we know that the 8 player, or out of 8 player, we only determine 3 winners. But all the matter, okay? So that we can rewrite. So it will be eight permutation three, okay? So this one we can make equal to p e r um, m u t permute here, and click a comma three basically, okay? Then that should be the answer for this problem, right? Okay, then what about this case here? So, a uh, pizza shop offers nine toppings. No topping is used more than once. What is the probability that the topping on a pizza are pepperoni, onion, and mushroom? The previous one is not working, so look at this question. A pizza shop offers nine toppings. No topping is used more than once. Then how many different ways to order a three-topping pizza? Okay. Then now I just make maybe uh, pepperoni as a P and then onion and mushroom. Okay? Then now we may think there are, there are total nine toppings and then we choose three different toppings here. So you may think three P oh sorry nine P three. So nine P three then this become equal to permutation. So permute and 9 and comma 3 then we may think that's the answer but think about this one here so if I just call the order pepperoni onion mushroom or 
onion, pepperoni, and mushroom or mushroom, onion, and pepperoni. So they're all same pizza. So no matter how I order, so they're gonna give me the same three topping pizza, which is our pepperoni, onion, and mushroom here. So this scenario, we don't care the order. So this case, we just call combination. Okay, so combination, the formula is right here. So uh, indicate NCR equal to N factorial over N minus R factorial times R factorial. So this time, not NP3 this case. So we have to say NC3. And then this scenario based on this formula, you can do uh, 9 factorial. So FACT, so 9 factorial and divide by because now we are multiplying two different factorial so you open it F A C T again and 9 minus 3 factorial and multiply F A C T again and then 3 factorial and don't forget close twice then that's the answer basically. Before we think 9P3 it was 504, but now 9C3 is only 84 because you know the all other these choices are same type in picture. So this is combination. But as you see, you know, using this formula is pretty complicated here. So we don't want to do it this way. So we're also using X commander. So combination X commander. So 9C3. So I'm going to copy and then here one more time. Okay, that equal to, now combination, so you can type C-O-M-B, then you see combi, so the first one, and types 9, comma, 3, then that's basically the answer. Okay? Yeah, so this video we cover the factorial and the permutation and the combination examples. So, Please uh, watch this video until you can distinguish the case about the factorial and the permutation and combination. Especially, combination means order doesn't matter. Okay? So like this, if you order pepperoni, onion, mushroom, or onion, pepperoni, mushroom, or mushroom, onion, pepperoni, I'm sure there's some more, but they're all same type basically. Okay, so first remember that we're using combination when the order is not matter. Alright, then I hope this video helped you to understand those topics and the concept. And then I will see you again with a different video. Alright, thank you, bye.